Where? There we go. Ooh. It has been a while since I played this game. All right, continuing with Hollow Man. I don't even remember setting up that third character. Also, this is going to bother me since I'm looking... Oh, no, no, no. This is... This is closer to the position I'm going to be in neutrally. So. All right. Huntsman's Cops. Let's go! Oh, hello. You... are on my list. Wow, I do not miss how loose this game felt to actually control. Alright. Perfect. Not quite what I thought it would be. Ugh. This just feels bad in my hands right now. Not gonna lie. Yes. You fool! Ah! Neat. Don't play a game for over a month and see what happens. Ooh. Uh, that's right. Oh yeah, this guy's dead now. And dropping off the edge. If I can do it subtly. That's right, I'm used to games that control well. Slash, I'm not used to using a controller right now, because the game I've been playing in my off time and the game that I played most recently on stream both used mouse and keyboard controls. So... Oops. Also, I don't think I got the butterfly from the level below. Okay, that's cool. It's above. It's directly above. It's okay, we'll work our way down there. Alright, let's make a jump. Easy jump. Oh, poison moss. Oh, here, let me help you. Okay. I feel like that was awkward. Boom, ba -da -boom, boom, boom. Oh man, I'm really feeling that eight directional movement right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm probably going to end up taking a break halfway through this stream to get a beer or something. Uh, where's the guy who was shooting at me? And why is he over there? Whoa! Can I... Oh, come on. That's nowhere near where I was looking, game. You know it. All these items on the ground that I'm probably mostly going to end up leaving. Because it's shit like rogue armor. It 
is warm in my house. I'm probably going to turn on the AC soon. Maybe it's just because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and it's like in the 70s and I don't know. Maybe maybe there's just a lack of airflow. All right. Age feather. Bring me back home. I think there was a guy before the bonfire. I think I checked this last time, but it's been so long since I streamed this game. I don't remember. Also, that... There we go. Lily! Happy Pride, Lily. I, uh, cannot say I have ever participated in any sort of pride event, um, however, ooh, there we go. You know what? Let me see. Let me think about this for a moment. N no, no, I don't have anything that would be good to put on in honor of that. Because my equipment is largely irrelevant at this point, because I have in-game stats and this is a relatively early game area. Anyway. Ain't no way. That's, that's good. Um, I can tell you as a, just as a blunt matter of fact, that, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I am about as cishet as it gets. Cishet and white. We got some despawns going already. That's great. Is the stream footage choppy? Or is it smooth? Because my OBS preview looks occasionally choppy, but I can't tell if that's translating to what's actually going on on stream. Slash, I don't know. True. I am proud of you, my trans lesbian friend. I find it interesting. Okay, good. I find it interesting that uh, we've actually shared a few pandemic experiences related to uh, our marriages uh, having to be delayed. And it's like a common experience the two of us both had. It's also one we share with Norman, right? Because that's just a thing that happened to a lot of people. Hmm. Ah! Um, well, that's awkward. Yeah, I am not used to how this game controls right now, like at all. It feels really weird in my hands. Yeah, so my fiance and I were going to do a spring wedding, and then that became a fall wedding, and then that became a summer of the following year wedding. So the feeling, the thing about this is it's a bit exacerbated because I haven't played Dark Souls 2 in like a month because I didn't stream anywhere near as much in May. Combination of um, getting busy with other things, plus uh, plus wanting to take a break from this game. And I gotta say, that, that cursed Pokemon cartridge really killed my motivation for a little bit. That sucked. I was, en I was enjoying that Pokemon Emerald run.
What? Okay. So the thing about... I grew up in Louisiana, and I went to college in New Orleans, and so, like, my association of with parades is, like, Mardi Gras. And, like, we have- we actually have one in my hometown that goes through, and some members of my family actually participate in running it, and, um, it's just... Parades- when I was a kid, parades were my jam. Nowadays, not so much, but I think it's more a, so a function of my, um, general introversion forcing me to be like, nah, I'm good. Okay. So, actually, it kind of tracks that the butterfly would still be alive. Uh, hello? Yeah, so, like, I don't know. Mardi Gras is really odd because it's, like, it has very, like, traditional Catholic roots. And the idea is supposed to be, like, all right, you're not going to be able to do any debauchery for a while because you're giving it up for Lent, so get all of it out of the way in one big celebration. Uh, it's just literally what Mardi Gras is. Uh... <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I was going with that. That's just all I can think about now. Is that's that's just what it is. All right. So I saw the. Oh, cool. Um. Hit this guy, and we're just gonna stick with Soul Spear. I just rolled off the back of the basilisk. <laughs> That's fun. Now melt. Oh. Ha. Ah. It's probably just as well that I'm working on this area. I'm probably gonna have to change my shoes midway through this stream. I've, I've got my standing setup going. I've got a new rule for myself that if I'm playing a game that uses a controller, I'm doing it standing up. Because I work at a computer all day. Oh my god. I'll probably also switch to having some music playing a bit later as well. Whoa! Okay. Hold on. Uh, it's plus... It's at plus three? It's still not... Okay. That's weird. Would have thought it would be one-shotting that guy with a... Maybe I just happened to hit him at an optimal defensive moment for him. Overkill. Ooh. Who else is streaming right now? Let's see. Huh? I'm not seeing who. Okay, makes sense that these guys would be alive. Wow, that damage. Fun. I think once the butterfly spawns over here, I'm just gonna move on to that second bonfire. KK slider? I mean, 
Tis the season, right? I missed this guy. Rip that idea. Oh man. Am I seriously gonna have to... It's just gonna be these two. Frog emotes. It's very interesting. Um, ah, I knew that was a thing in this move set. I just didn't remember how to do it. It's been it's been very interesting to be consistently very online. In uh, ooh, that kind of frog emotes. Those are nice. It's been very interesting to be a very online person the past like. Eight, nine years. Overall, I think things have improved significantly. And I'd like to think I'm a bit better about how I uh, interact with and I, I'm a bit better about how I um, how I consume the media I take in these days, I think. Did I miss the guy that was on the ground here? One would hope that I've grown, right? Going from... Like... 19 to, or 20 to like 28. It's a long ass time. <laughs> I'm sure I concerned some of, at least one of my roommates from, um, college. So, I'm still with the same lady that I've been with, that, uh, I was with all those years ago, though, so. Can't have been too bad. You know, oddly enough, that is seem at least in online spheres, that is a very um common trajectory, it seems. Like that specific trajectory seems way more common online than it probably should be. <laughs> uh. You know, I've actually um I think there's something about... I think this is something that a lot of, in particular, sexual minorities experience, but... There's something about... Well, gender and sexual minorities. There's something about realizing that part of your identity that seems to just kind of unlatch a lot of things in your psyche. Makes me think of the, um, the often cited study of, uh, men being shown gay porn, and the ones that reported more homophobic views got more aroused by the gay porn. Makes some sense. Um, the odd thing for me is, fortunately, 
Um, it's time to get good. Mr. Walk on in. Must have walk in. Ugh. I can't talk right now. Excuse me. I've got. It's, I blame it on the dry mouth. What's up? If you're not sure, if you don't know what's going on, I am depopulating the entire game. Uh, Dark Souls 2 has a mechanic where every enemy in the game deep just stops spawning after you kill it a certain number of times. This is the only enemy that is left between this bonfire and the next one. That's why I'm going back and killing it over and over again. All the other ones between the two bonfires are gone. It ranges, I think. I think it actually ranges depending on the enemy. Because I've seen some enemies that I'd swear I didn't kill more disappear sooner than others, but I could just be wrong about that. Either way, it's a dumb mechanic and I'm taking full advantage of it for doing this. God damn. Okay, in my defense, super easy to walk past that guy. And then you no. Once once I okay. Once I'm done depopulating everything. Hmm. Interesting. Once I'm done depopulating everything, I'm gonna run through the whole all the areas once to make sure I have footage showing that all of them are dead, and then I'll go to New Game Plus, and then quickly to New Game Plus Plus to get the last of the spells. And um, that'll be the last time I touch Dark Souls 2, most likely. It's one of those games that I like, I play through it once or twice. I'm like, Ugh, I don't really like this that much. So I walk away from it. And then a few years later, I'm like, you know what? Let's give it another shot. I play it once or twice, and I'm like, ugh, not really liking this that much. <laughs> so I'm like, alright, I know that's gonna happen this time. So just do a long, obnoxious playthrough. Uh. I will say, though, for a game that I will say that, that I hold that opinion of, there are not very many games I can think of that I've said I've liked as little as Dark Souls 2 that I've played entirely through as much as Dark Souls 2. There are games that I think I like better that I haven't finished before at all. So it's it's weird. Maybe it's because at the end of the day it still is, it still plays more or less like a Souls game and those are the types of games that I enjoy playing. All right, so what do we have? Okay, that one's still alive. Uh. Please, there we go. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at, like, it's still a Souls board game, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> Jane, stop this crazy thing! Oh my god. I think that's part of it. I had higher expectations for it than... I received and it was also really weird because when it came out I thought I was pretty decent at Dark Souls 1 and I was getting my shit kicked in consistently in Dark Souls 2 through the first playthrough I was like that's weird and then when Bloodborne comes around it's like alright Bloodborne's different from the other one so of course you're gonna get your shit kicked in on that but I feel like I got my shit kicked in more in Dark Souls 2 than I should have and I chalk that up to the variety, the myriad ways that it is different from Dark Souls 1 while still being kind of the same type of game, I guess. 
Um, I'm not even sure about that, to be honest. But that's because I've played a lot of video games that I hold a lot of nostalgia for. Well, I was looking like over at chat and then walked right off this edge. All right, these two are gone, which means I'm only gonna. Oh boy. Well. Bubbly water. Okay. Well, back down here we go. To be fair, though, um, I'm also more of a pure action kind of guy, so, like, the Ninja Gaidens and Bayonettas of the world have higher esteem in my heart than the Souls games, even if I do really, really like the Souls games. I, I feel like the Souls games um, really suck me in with their world design. Is that moth the only one left from this group? Okay. I feel like Dark Souls 3 would... See, Dark Souls 3 I think is mostly successful for me, but there are just a couple of ways that bug me that make me really wish <sighs> like armor in Dark Souls 3 makes no sense the way they implemented it. It's like this weird hybrid between Dark Souls and Bloodborne that I think in retrospect leaned a little too hard into Bloodborne or and it doesn't quite fit the setting as well as it should. It's still probably... I'd still place it probably up there with Dark Souls 1, but... Um, it's just, That's kind of like a criticism that is separate from my enjoyment of it. Like, it's a criticism I have, but in the moment, it doesn't affect how I enjoy it. Whereas almost all of my criticisms of Dark Souls 2 are directly related to how much I enjoy it. The moth's still here? The moth's gone. Oh. Someone else starts streaming or did I get added? Okay. D and D server. D and D group server that is. Ah. Oh my god. The messages. Right, so like, basically you'd like for Dark Souls 1 to play faster, more or less, right? And to have some of the tweaks, like, non-instant backstabs for example, like, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Even if it's... I feel like someone could almost do that if they were really dedicated and wanted to just do a mod of Dark Souls 3. Which might sound crazy, but there are people that are, that are like, in the Sonic community that's... <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, there are people, like, in the Sonic community that, like, are remaking Sonic Unleashed on the PC using Sonic Generations engine. And... or, like, the daytime stages. Nice. 
Uh, what else are they doing? There's a fan-made 3D Sonic game that... I don't know if it's in, still in the works, but it's like... It was pretty cool. There's like a playable demo of it out. Um... Anyway, that's all Sonic. That's not this. That's not Dark Souls. So, now a lot of the enemies here, I've already despawned just from because I had an embarrassingly hard time on the chariot. Uh. Let's see. I remember these guys. Uh. I love their... I love their ragdolls. Just watch this ragdoll. Oop, missed. <laughs> That's not the last time you'll see them. You'll get a better look at their ragdolls in a bit. All right, Lily. What? Bullshit. Mm. The setup feels good. Um. Oh, that's right. Whoop. I'll take that poison moss. Whoa. Please. Oh, Dark Souls 2. Alright, if this was Dark Souls 1, that would have flattened him. Actually, I don't know. I think that attack is literally in Dark Souls 1. I'm not sure if it actually flattens anyone. My bad! I forgot that pressing R1 while using this weapon guards instead of attacks. At least with it in this hand. Sweet. Wait, that... I think I've tried this before. That's me. You can totally make that. Uh, sir? Ah, there you are. Excuse me, just trying to cheat my way into, into this. That's totally doable. I'm not going to sit here and try to do this for a long time. But I do want to see... As Come on, Hollow Man. I believe in you. Maybe if I maybe if I lightened my equip load a little bit. All right, that's my last try. Uh. uh. So let's see. I need to remember that there are. Well, first off, there's more enemies in here, right? No. Oh. No, they're not. Or at least the ones that were in here despawned already. Because they were like a it was like one of those nights, I think. So one time spawn. So there's that area and there's this area. Ah! This guy's one of the only ones left in this area. Do 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 do. Oh, sweet. 
more red eye orbs for those invasions I'm not going to do for the Brotherhood of Blood, but I'm not going to rejoin. And then this area is empty because I already killed all these guys. Oh! I did not kill you, apparently. See? It flattens them! Alright, and there are no enemies over there. Back to the fire. Well, this is awkward. Um, I don't have the most optimal loadout right now for invading, yet here I am. Sure, let's wave. I feel like that should have hit him. Oh, you're gonna heal? God, I wish I had more spells uh, attuned that weren't just for PvE. I love how effective the homing soul arrows are on this guy. Ow. There. How much stamina does this guy have? God damn! I'm dead. I'm very much equipped for PvE and not for PvP right now. If that soul spirit hit him though, he might have actually died based on how much he took from the great soul arrow. Uh... Yeah. Hey. Ah. Lost connection to Steam. Steam. Okay. I lost connection to Steam, but the stream's still going. Okay, so I guess Steam just went down.
I love those ragdolls. If they fall off, they're funny. If they don't fall off, they're even funnier. It just occurred to me that an incredible flex would be to pull out the uh, binoculars and then successfully aim a soul spear into where they dodge. I don't think I would be able to do that, but it'd be awesome if I could pull it off. These guys are the worst. There we go. Can't wait to get to Harvest Valley and have to clear out that ambush. This place is confusing. It confuzzles me. Oh, there's that guy. Forgot about that guy. Ow! Jerk! Dog going with the metastrats. Intentionally missing. Alright. I didn't clear out this area up here a little bit ago. I'm kind of figuring that once I clear out the last of the lower area between the bonfires, I can just rest of that bonfire and backtrack across this bridge. Ah. <sighs> but... What about... You were the only reason for me to drop down here. Now what... But then these guys are still here, so... Every time I went to the chariot, I just ran past this guy. And that's why. Yeah, let's just top off, be safe. I'm gone for... 40... 45 minutes almost? Once we hit the one hour mark, so 15 minutes, I'm going to uh, go get a cold drink, probably of the alcoholic variety. And also change shoes, because my shoes are very comfy for walking around in. They're not so great for just standing around in. Keep hearing all these bzz, bzz. these various people keep going alive. I follow too many people on Twitch. It's a good thing because it always means that someone I follow is streaming, so if I want to tune into Twitch, I always can. But it's a bad thing because then I feel really bad for all the people that I follow and don't always watch. Which, if I'm being honest with myself, is almost no one because I almost never get to watch streamers live.
love that dive. Center of the screen. That's not... There we go. I wonder. Oh, that's worth it. Excuse me. Now, what about you? Sir, that's a tree. A very, very green looking tree. Alright. You. You. I was about to say, is there a third one that I've been missing this whole time? <laughs> that would be truly just awful. I wasn't expecting it to knock him on his ass. Uh, doing that to enemies in PvE is definitely fun. We go into the night. All right. I knew this guy couldn't have had that many more lives left. Ooh. Oh, that felt amazing. Oh, actually, rest of the fire. I think I'm going to be able to finish out this area. Huntsman's Cops in its entirety, including the run up to the, to the Skeleton Lords. That's probably all I'm going to do this stream, but I'll be able to get it done. And then I think after Huntsman's Cops comes... Harvest Valley? I think so. I don't remember. The big problem with the level design to me is there are just some transitions that, because they make no sense, I can't remember what's where. There you are. Bye. Oh man, the hollow that just runs away from you is going to be a pain in the ass. Because I haven't been killing him. Can I just do this to you? Yeah, let's do that. In fact, can great heavy Solero just pick up the slack everywhere for me? That'd be swell.
The tracking isn't strong enough. this way I feel confused the layout is a little confusing here I get it there's three there's three elevation tiers and each one is connected by a bridge all right next is this guy All right, similar amount of health to the fat guys. All right. Sweaty brow. Um. I'm not going to miss this area once I'm done with it. I don't hate playing through it, to be honest, but... The drab look really isn't doing it for me. Oh, come on. Seems like it... Aims a little bit left of center, which is really weird considering I fire it from my right hand. I gotta be quicker on the draw. Okay. Oh no! Evaded. Maybe I missed my calling in life by not being a voice actor. <laughs> Easy peasy. What item was that? It shall forever remain a mystery. You. Not regretting clearing these guys out whenever I was going through the chariot. I regret that performance on the chariot fight. But that's an entirely different thing from whether I... <laughs> Anyway. Looking forward to adding one more notch to this list. Whoa, itchy leg. Gonna have to be faster on that guy. Forgot that left trigger or left left buttons were the ones to actually get him. Dead. Welcome back, Lily. They act like they're doing dramatic drops into a ravine or something. <gasps> There's another one up there that I haven't been killing. Also, I was reminded that I actually did a magic build, so my magic is really super strong, and I should probably be using it. Ah. 
Oof. You know, that's really weird. Um, I noticed that I actually disconnected from Steam earlier. But the stream obviously stayed up and it didn't even... My bitrate actually went up, if anything, after that. So I think Steam's just having some issues right now. How much poise does this have? Hmm. Maybe it's just one of those updates where they try to fix something and then break a bunch of other things in the process. There you go. Well, that would be why. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Yep, we're gonna in about after this run through. I'm going to go and get a cold drink and we're going to refresh the setup a little bit. So there's some little bit of music playing and just a little more, a little more cozy and a little more comfy. Um, Cause I'm not wearing ideal shoes for a standing stream right now. Also, Oh my God. I forgot about the moth over there again, even though I literally pointed it out. No need to have the stream be as dreary as this area. You know, it just occurred to me, this area, Huntsman's Cops, reminds me a little bit of, um, of Corvus Bog in Metroid Prime 2 but it's not I like Torvus Bog, I don't like this as much. Right? Cause like this is a very this is a moss and lichen covered area, which is that's a bog is gonna be like that. But it doesn't have water running through it, so it's not a bog. But it's obviously a very humid area, at least. I don't know. That was weird. I think my soul arrow tracked to him before I actually locked on to him. Or at least before it showed that I was locked on to him. Alright. I'm gonna be resting at the bonfire. So we'll have the little chick 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 going. And I'm going to get cold drink and get comfy, and then I'm going to get some comfy music going. If you have a recommendation for comfy music, feel free to post it in the chat for me to uh, potentially put it on when I get back. Yeah, so... Okay, before I go off, um, there's a place in West Virginia, I think it is. It's part of the Appalachian Mountains, I think, uh, called Dolly Sods. And um, it's basically it's basically in a forest preserve. Yeah. Do you know, you know of Dolly Sods? Do you know Dolly Sods, or, I, or is the stream delay you responding to something else I said? Ah, okay. Um. Yeah. So yeah, it's basically just like it's it's a park with a camp with like campsites in the mountains, and uh, there's actually a bog that's at it and. Uh, it was there that I actually learned that cranberries are, blo are uh, bog plants. I didn't know cranberries were bog plants. But yeah, there, there's just a bog there that has like sundews and cranberries and I'm sure there are plenty of other like carnivorous plants among there too, but 
it's a big open bog and you only get to go out into a little bit of it, so. Alright, be right back. Ah. I put on my slippers and my feet are already a lot happier. All right, I'm going to be actually I'm going to sit down, so I'm going to be out of view because I'm standing right now. And yeah. Um so let's get some music going. Is this acceptable? Oh yeah. And also, gotta say, I'm, I'm a huge arachnophobe. I would not be able to cut it. Cranberry harvesting. <laughs> Although I know that most spiders are non-aggressive and you have nothing to fear from them. But, but I also know lots of things that I am nonetheless very afraid of, so. Watch this. What a beautiful ragdoll. It's like he pops into a T-pose, and then suddenly the whole thing becomes a physics simulation of what happens when they just fall. Ooh. Fair enough. Alright, that moth's gone. Time for us to be making some noticeable progress here. <laughs> yeah. And the Master Chief Collection's gotten better over time. I gotta say, I feel bad for 343 Industries because, like, I feel like. They're the guys that really, really like Kalo that are left over from Bungie and everyone else <laughs> that like knew how to program and such actually went with Bungie. <laughs> and okay, okay, that's not fair. Halo 4 turned out pretty okay. I don't know. They, enough of the talent left with Bungie that neither studio feels as good as they could be, I think is the way I'd put it. Which is probably grossly oversimplifying what actually happened, but... The 
exactly. Well, it's like, it's like, okay, this is a joke. This is a very nerdy joke. Um, I don't have water tonight, Bob, but I do have beer. Um, it is bass. Just bass. Ugh. Walk away with one hand. being shot from. Did this guy follow me? Or has he been here the whole time and I've been missing him? Anyway, the physics joke. The, the nerdy joke. Um, it was in reference to... Uh, we were talking about the qualifying exam. The PhD qualifying exam. Right, because some some programs, what you do is you take classes and you also have to pass a survey exam covering the different topics that you learn in your education. Also, okay, never mind. Um, and the professor said, if any question ever asks why, the answer is it reduces the free energy of the system. the answer. Yep. It's, a, it's the second law of thermodynamics. It, as, as systems evolve over time, the free energy is reduced. Why do things move in a certain way? Because, because it reduces the free energy of the system. You didn't ask how, you asked why. And I keep forgetting that moth again. God damn it. Although, to be fair, I also don't really like that answer because it's, I find that to be a more descriptive statement of what happens and it, it's not, I don't. People don't understand entropy very well, and I feel like answers like that don't help with understanding entropy that well. Yeah. Um, I'm used to thinking of descriptive and prescriptive in terms of like things we should like describing the world versus saying what we should do and not in terms of causative versus or, and not in terms of like cause versus effect um reducing the free energy of the system is is a consistent effect in nature that and the way one of the ways we quantify that is using entropy right so your total energy minus your heat energy gives you your free energy and your heat energy is proportional to entropy so the two so the free energy always reduces and entropy always increases are the same statement but saying it as entropy always increases is just the way to confuse people also these guys are gone But then there's the whole thing where, like, moving through energy gradients versus a force, like, those are those are the same thing. I don't know. It's, it's all nerdy talk, and it's all very weird, and... People... I feel like if, uh, if I had a whole talk about entropy, I could confuse people quite a bit. Or I could reveal... I feel like I could help people understand it a bit more while also... Uh, making them realize why the Google definition is bad. Oh, disorder! 
I can show you two pictures and of an arrangement of different arrangements of a bunch of particles and depending on the situation around them either one could have higher entropy it's because so like if i showed you like here's a bunch of particles that are like exponentially getting less dense as you go further up versus here's just a bunch of random particles scattered you might have this subjective idea of one picture is more ordered than the other but depending on the energy gradient they're in depending on the energy gradient they're in either one of those could be said to have higher entropy yeah this order is just a very bad definition for it it's a bit too imprecise yeah thermal physics is actually something that was a big weak spot of mine I didn't have thermal physics classes at all uh, in undergrad the one that I tried to take I ended up having to drop because it was my most difficult semester for personal reasons um, so I didn't have any... So even randomness isn't a good definition. Because, like in the example, imagine you have two boxes filled with particles. In one, they're just literally randomly assorted. In the other, they appear to be denser towards the bottom and less dense towards the top. I would say, subjectively, the one where they're getting less dense as they go up is more ordered. But if you're in some sort, if you're in like a gravitational field, that's okay. So we're not, we're talking like weighted randomness then, right? Okay. Uh, that's right, we already killed all of these guys. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay, I see where that moth is. Oh, we're safe. That moth's not in a bad spot, I can... Alright, we're good. Alright. Yeah. Every number, every number of sequence you can imagine is contained somewhere within the digits of pi and all that, right? Um. Let's see. I'm gonna laugh if those two never despawn. I'm gonna chase you down later. Oh, you're still alive. Right. I don't know, it's just, it's really fun to hear people talk about things like the heat death of the universe. It's like, you don't know what that means. A particularly fun um, thermodynamics example that I find very interesting is that a white dwarf, which is like surface temperature of tens of thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, is actually thermodynamically very cold. All of that temperature comes from the uh, from the Pauli exclusion principle. 
because the uh, the electrons and protons can are filling up all their minimum energy states more or less. There aren't that many there aren't that many extra excited atoms and electrons and protons in a white dwarf. Um, it is a little more complicated with neutron stars and quasars, but yeah. Yeah, almost all of the energy that is in them is a result of the Pauli exclusion principle, not, they're not exceptionally hot. Yeah. Um, I recent when I took statistical mechanics, right, one of the things you can, you can actually do statistical mechanics to derive the Sandra, Chandra Sekhar limit for a white dwarf. That's the limit at which a white dwarf will gravitationally collapse and become a neutron star. And it's, you can actually get a pretty accurate answer to what's observed. Um, neutron, but one of the assumptions you make is that the, um, part, interparticle interactions are not significant, which it, the model fits pretty well, so apparently that's just a thing in white dwarfs, so the interaction between the particles isn't that significant. Uh, but in neutron stars it doesn't work as well, which to me indicates neutron, the neutrons are interacting with each other. I've just been sitting here, talking and sipping beer with no enemies around me. Yeah. But yeah, like, um, if white dwarfs and neutron stars were made up of, um, bosons, I was, I was having trouble having trouble thinking of the word boson. They were made of bosons instead of fermions. Like, they could just keep they all the particles could just pile up on each other basically. The heat death of the universe is just the second law of thermodynamics extrapolated out to. The far, 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 far future. Eventually, the idea is basically eventually, because free energy is always reducing, eventually we run out of free energy. That's it. statistical phenomena in physics. There's no, like, fundamental temperature of a particle. But humanity continues to grow at 10% its current rate of growth. Every particle in the observable universe will be contained within a human body within 20,000 years from now. Oh, okay, so you're saying that 
Okay. So if we just ignore... Like, um... You know, I don't even remember... Not predator-prey systems. If we just ignore carrying capacity and all that, that's what you mean, right? Just... Just literally... If we take these people, if we take people at our current population rates and just keep growing and just ignore the fact that it's not, that it's going to stop eventually. Okay. Oop, let me get that moth while I'm thinking about it. That's a sneaky ass moth. Oh, I miss you as well. So, um, I've talked about it before. I'm a computational biophysicist, which means I take biomolecules, proteins, nucleosomes, that sort of thing, and run computer simulations of them. And thermodynamic analysis is one of the things that you do with those. And, um, you know, you kind of, the thing is, the human body is not a thing that's actually at thermodynamic equilibrium with its environment. Um, if you were, you would be dead. And likewise, the Earth is not at thermodynamic equilibrium with the universe. If it was, we'd all be dead. The Earth would be dead. Uh, geothermally as well as... What? We're... Hold on. I'm looking for that moth now. Anyway, so you actually treat... What you do basically is you say on a short enough time scale, we can treat these systems as if they are in equilibrium. Which is an interesting concept. of the Nobel Prize for microwave, the cosmic microwave background. Okay, Matrix, she's done a bunch of stuff. So this is part of her stuff, really. Hmm. Yeah, there's one guy in our group who's from the chemistry side of things. I'm sure that some biology people end up doing similar stuff. It's a, it's the, it is literally the most interdisciplinary field I could have thought to possibly work in. I think that moth was a single... single spawn. Mm. Yeah, I have one friend who's a BME. Um... Yeah, she's actually taken some classes that would be useful to me. Well. Oh, this reminds me. Um, did I make this guy over here stop spawning? I don't even remember. Okay, I did. When I first got accepted into my program, I was accepted as a master's student, and um, the idea is if you pass your qualifying exam, the idea with this program is if you pass your qualifying exam at PhD level, they offer you a spot in the, in the PhD program. So, I had one friend who actually started PhD, he already has had his master's, and uh, he couldn't pass the qualifying exam, so he ended up... I don't know, I don't think he ever got a degree from university, because he didn't pass his qualifying exam and he already had a master's. So, it's like, his life's in order now and everything, so that's fine, but... Alright, Willie.
you're not gonna hear you're probably not gonna hear this uh bit lily but uh i might one might joke that i took his spot through merit but i had, I had good times with the dude while he was here so It's occurring to me that I'm not killing the running man enough. Also, that guy on the floor. Let's find the running man. Is he back here? There he is. My feet are more comfy. I'm rolling my sleeves up though, though. Mm. Should be a lot better. Ooh, I felt something pop in my arm. Ah. I find headshot. I mean, good job. I think that dude aggro's on you as soon as you walk out. To the running man. I'm going to sneeze soon, I think. Actually, probably a better way to approach this particular enemy. I feel like I'm saving myself a lot of embarrassment by not showing the lower half of my body right now. I'm nowhere near this expressive if I'm at like an actual dance party. <laughs> This rate. You know, I should I should rest the fire. I wonder if the um, it would actually make some sense if this enemy spawn despawns first, because he's an, that's an enemy I would have to kill every time I respawned here.
You know, a subtle thing I just noticed that probably doesn't hamper my enjoyment of the game that much, but still probably hampers it a little bit. Enemies in this game, when they run out of health, kind of snap to their dying animation. And I feel like in Dark Souls 1, they actually were a little more dynamic. So like if your hit would knock them to the ground, they get knocked to the ground and then they'd have a separate animation for dying on the ground. I know that this game in particular was... The actual game was thrown together really, really quickly. And then Scholar remixed it and... They still were working on kind of a broken set of bones, but... I think the dog's gone. Oh, don't you knock me off. Wouldn't that be some shit? Getting killed by the enemy. Just to double check that all these guys are gone, because I think they are, but... Like, I'm pretty sure I checked that, and that's why I moved on, but... My brain doesn't always work properly, and I started talking all this science shit, and then... From there, it was game over. Alright, I think the running man's dead. For good. still there? I don't think that Archer's still there. He's still here. Hmm. Archer's gone now. What about in here? peek over just in case the running man somehow evaded me. Chasing me across the bridge. I was about to say, he should be gone <laughs> soon, if not already. Go away! Alright, let's start working our way through so we don't just come over, kill one enemy, and then reset. is working my way through the left. Well, I could work either way, really. Didn't the guy run 
up its way? Okay, no, I'm mistaken. You. Is there another one? What? Can I even hit that one? Oh, I can. I don't know if it's intentional, but I can. I'm gonna be disappointed if that one respawns. Ooh, Twilight Herb, that's good. Maybe that was like a secret drop. I call shenanigans on that guy not dying. Discord? Ah. Thesis. Perhaps having a weapon that swings horizontally starting from the left is not great when the left side is a cliff side. But it's working for me, so... Did. Did. Okay. Wait. I see an unlit thing. I must light all of the things. It is my duty. Perfect. Shenanigans. The sword's gonna have a spot that just doesn't do damage or something. Oh, I see another thing I haven't lit. Alright. Next loop around, we're lighting that. Oh, hello. One of the only times the weapon bouncing off the wall mechanic came into play. Oh wow. Okay. Hey. Come back here, running man! He runs so fast. Jesus Christ. Ha! He got stuck. What a dumb feature of this area. Alright, we're gonna go around the same direction. Um, just checking on this one guy who still has a despawned. What the hell? Let's find out if that other one respawns. It does not. That's a well-placed Twilight Herb secret. I also need to remember that I have bow and arrows that I can use. A decent effect. Okay. 
all these tall ass sorcery catalysts. Wait. Okay, that was just some. I I thought there was like a thing that was invisible that I ran up against, but. Apparently that was just Dark Souls 2 movement being Dark Souls 2 weird. I feel like I should probably... hang on a second. Just turning the sound down on my ears a little bit. Okay. I could play through Star Fox 64 like nine times before I ran out of... Before, before my torch ran out in this game. Why? Make it stop. Gotta light them all. Are you? Hey, don't you bear? Don't, don't you play ads? Once I get to the bonfire, I'll take care of this. Oh, please tell me he's gonna get stuck again. Dude's gone. Dude, he runs so fast. I saw where he ran to. This iteration of the running man is not fun to chase down. Oh, got him. What a dumb feature. <laughs> All right. Let's fix that music. You ready for a total body work? <sighs> it's a long ad. Can't wait. Okay. The music, the background music was like creeping me out a little bit there for a moment. Ugh. I'm glad I started moving through the area instead of just waiting for that guy because he's taking forever. Also, maybe it'll be a good idea to switch to Soul Greatsword in a little bit. Soul Spear should be able to go through trees. You can't change my mind. Tis not the season. Great heavy soul arrow it is.
Hate those enemies. Oh my god, there's another one that I hadn't been told. Has it already been almost two hours? Oh, sit down and cry <sighs> Yeah, as much as I like using sorcery, I think, um, Circumstances here make me like the melee better. Bill Sneeze coming on again. Believable. So the good thing is, as long as they don't reload the area, and I'm just resting at the bonfire, those things are not going to respawn. Oh my god. He gets caught on that just long enough for you to catch him. said what I meant and I meant what I said. We're not in this dream until this area is completely empty. Damn. Here we go. Oh my god, that archer is an asshole. Complete asshole. I wish I had killed this moth up here a disproportionate number of times because I feel like this is slowing me down a lot. And I would jump down, but I pretty consistently fuck up. Oh, hello. Uh, I pretty can. I was gonna say I pretty consistently fucking fuck up coming down to this ledge, but um. Not today, apparently. sees me take out two of his melee focused friends pulls out a sword to come and try to melee fight me sounds about right let me guess thesis went live no gun money king went live
I'm a child. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. Those guys gave us a pretty decent drops. Where's my beer at? Oh, there's no way you're gonna be able to see that. Green light. Tasty beer. Hmm. Oh, hallelujah, this guy's gone. Which means we can just make the big loop. to me that I was going to say um, only in this game do I not feel bad about shooting a fleeing target in the back but then I thought about it and I'm like no actually in most games I don't care about that I think the only game I would actually care about that in is probably like D&D &D. <laughs> Two enemies in here. You and you. I'm gonna have to come back for this guy in a little bit. That's a shame. That's a real shame, that. Absolutely smashing. <laughs> yes. Really? Okay. Again. Why does the sword stand straight up? I know why. It's, because it's partly because they got rid of the ragdoll physics in this game for the spell that they re included again in Dark Souls 3, but Dark Souls 3 had the ragdoll physics, which kind of made the spell more useful. So... All that remains are in this loop. And archers. Well, not getting the not getting the running man early this time. We probably already ran across the bridge. Yep. Mm. 
Nice. I like that two for one. Might as well have just stuck my sword under him while he was jumping down. stretching for these streams. Okay, bullshit. Oh. Double bullshit. Did their friend already leave? Nope. The only one. This is the only enemy I care about the loot from. Caught the running man while he was napping. I feel like I'd be talking more if I didn't also feel like I had to sneeze. Ooh. You get a sword chop! You get a s- Okay, you get two sword chops! You get a sword chop. to the fire. And you know what? I feel like tempting fate right now, so... I'm 
let's go. Ooh. All right, melee the first guy. Wait, oh, okay, I was about to say. And their friend is still here. I've learned your tricks, running man. It would tear my soul out if I looked around and just found a random enemy somewhere that I wasn't noticing before and haven't been killing. Okay, got caught by that guy for the first time. Kill you. We're gonna spin to win on you. Oh. That was a Dark Souls 2 moment. Alright. God damn it, Dark Souls 2. Oh, you rolled away? Well, we just happened to perfectly time the 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 gap between attack one and attack two such that it hits you. I don't know if I've been killing him. Well, when I go on a loop that results in almost no one from the skelly pit. Or no one before the skelly pit. And I think that'll be a good good cue to just run back in straight through the skellies. I think I first tried the skeleton lords. Hey! I meleeed the running man by accident. Because I completely forgot about hitting these guys with magic. probably remind me a lot of the grind through the Shrine of Amana by the time I'm done. Because, like, the Shrine of Amana has a lot of enemies, and it's a fairly... it's fairly long to trek through it all. I don't know if this is necessarily long to trek through, but it's starting to feel it. Alright. I suspect I'm gonna come through, find a bunch of these guys have despawned, except for that one bastard.
Yeah, I haven't been killing this guy. And that sucks. I think part of it is also it's going to feel longer when it's a larger area that has more time between bonfire rests. And this is definitely feeling long. Whoop. I don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling in a little bit. If I'm feeling... If, like, two runs from now, I'm starting to feel too exhausted, then I'll probably just call stream and it'll be fine. We'll just pick back up here. This is a slow and deliberate challenge anyway. shots. Huh. I guess I just ran past those guys a lot. Yep, yeah, that's actually probably it. I probably went through a few times, maybe some of those enemies fell off of their own volition, maybe some of them I was killing along the way, but I didn't kill every enemy along the way. Okay, that looked very unnatural. As, as insofar as a skeleton swinging a sword will ever look natural. I need to look up if there are other areas in the game that also don't despawn enemies, because I'm sure there are. I know the Grave of Saints doesn't, and I suspect the Doors of Pharaohs also does not. Catch that guy on the other side. It would also make sense that the running man would probably be the, one of the last ones to be spawned from this side. A good cue. The enemies are gone would be if they drop loot from their previous life and they don't come back, I guess. It's like magic. These guys, I suspect, are going to be among the last ones. I don't know. I guess his friend tends to come out and chase after you. And that's it before the skeletons. This area was... I must have been really consistent with how I cleared out this area in previous runs. I am legitimately impressed. 
This guy's gonna still be here, right? Yep. There's him. And there's the running man. How could I forget? Wait for him to stop. Hope that he stopped. Good. If he stops on the other side of the bridge here, he his pathing breaks and he gets caught running against this for some reason. That's what I've gathered from all these runs. I think... I think I'm probably still gonna have to kill the running man. He's probably the only one left on the way to that little hut. And once I get to that hut, I guess I can backtrack to the bridge that's partway across. And when he's alone, super easy to just focus on. Even if he has the same color as the ground around him, which... Bleh. Moths are gone. This area is almost empty. sleeping guys in here. So there's the running man, the hollow boys in there, and there's that one skeleton in the cave. This guy. He drops them. Alluring skull. I'm fine as long as they don't drop scimitars. Mm. So is it a hundred? Yeah, hundred and thirty thousand to level up right now. gone. I heard that's so sad. And I'm thinking I'm trying to think of what Mario game that would be from. And coming up blank. Uh-huh. I knew it. Bastard. Skeleton? Yep. We're so close. Yeah, if I, if I had had to do another couple of runs through this area, I probably would have ran out of steam really quickly, but because we're almost done, I'm definitely happier. faster run through would be here to the skeleton then take the bridge and go to the hut and then if the hut's empty then happy days but I don't know if it will be Into the hut. <gasps> I only missed him once. Alright, so all that's left in Huntsman's Cops is that one skeleton. And what, was, what was the NPC's name? Kitchy Grin? Or was it Gritchy Ken? Or something like that. He's dead. <laughs> Killed him real early. Because I wanted a scythe. Or his weapon, and then I realized, oh, that was a bad call. Oh well. Oh, what am I doing? It's just the one skeleton, and then I can run back.
Oh, I was about to say. Uh, that makes me wonder. Hang on a second. I'm gonna be upset if, uh... Okay. Yeah, no. All the other ones are gone. Um, hang on. Really? What an odd place for there to be collision. Okay, it's like that the whole way through. Thought maybe there was an invisible enemy there. Which has been known to happen in Dark Souls too. There are intentionally invisible, uh, harmless enemies around that drop stuff for you. And that's it! Huntsman's Cops is empty. Let's go! Alright. That said, I am tired of standing up. So I am going to continue forward to the next bonfire past the Skeleton Lord's boss fight, which, surprise, surprise, I've already done it. Um, unless Skeleton Lords is a dead end? No, it's not. And let me guess, there are enemies on this that I have to kill. That I'm going to be backtracking from the bonfire or something for. Please. Okay. Okay, good. Harvest Valley it is. Ooh. Um Let me see what all the other poison areas are like. Okay, still poison. Still gonna be annoying, but the poison pools like in front of that bonfire are gone now. What a nonsense level design. Fantastic pop in my elbow right now. Right just now. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Let's go over to Twitch and see who is streaming right now. This will be so much smoother in the future. When I can just do this all, um, well, my keyboard is higher up. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. This is IRL is playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. I think he's filling the Pokedex right now. Yet another slow grind. So I'm gonna send us on over there. misspelled thesis. Alright, peace out. Thanks for watching.